one thing that actually I wanted to share with you from a fascination standpoint is about the Orion constellation. So if there is one thing that you wanted to know about space, the easiest way to understand about the space is look at the Orion constellation. It, particularly during this season, it is like right up in the sky uh, during this month of February and March. And you can easily identify them. There are like three stars. Even if you kind of randomly look at the sky, when you see those three stars almost like in one line, you can easily find the Orion constellation. They are not too far apart. They are probably like, maybe when you are looking at it, maybe two or three inches apart when you are looking in the sky. So it's easily identifiable if you are in the dark sky. You can actually see the Orion Nebula slightly as well. If you can't make out during the like night time because of the light pollution with, without a telescope, maybe try with a binoculars, try with a small telescope, you will be fascinated by looking at that constellation. There are two big objects there, two big areas that people are very fascinated when they actually start looking at the sky, including myself, the very first object I looked up in the sky, our first object uh, is Orion Nebula. That one shows up like almost like a small patch of like a white cloud. Of course, it is a cosmic cloud. That's where the stars are born. And the other one, it's kind of difficult to make out with the eye or even a telescope, even when you look at it, is a horse head. That's where astrophotography or taking pictures of taking pictures of the deep space is going to make a big difference. When you look at that patch of a sky where horse head is, I think the, the shape of the horse head, the way it looks, and the way the rest of the area behind it, as if there is a like ocean falling and waves raising up, you will be fascinated by how beautiful that region really is. I'll try to take some pictures using the RAS 11 telescope and I'll share with you folks. So I'm actually setting up the C14. I know this is going to take some time. This is a 14 inches in diameter, so it goes like really close. And if you put a 2x Barlow, you are actually doubling the capacity of this telescope. So I'm looking forward to setting this up. I'm more excited than ever actually to make sure that this project gets successful. Uh, please let me know what you think about the host head and uh, share your comments. I read every one of the comments and I try to respond. Thank you. And thank you for all the new subscribers.